think it means to make a difference? I think, and especially in my case, it takes the humdrum model of life, it's a teaching tool, uh, and really it's a elevating tool for people who formerly thought that they couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came along very young, people thought poor people stayed in their place, rich people stayed in their place, we were all separated mm -hmm. to the degree, especially when it came to helping each other. Mm -hmm. And to grow up in 40 years, find out that you can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And that difference, because where people are tending to one thing that you can attend to another. And I've been blessed to go all over the world doing that. Right, I wanna talk about just how all this began. Here you are at one point in your life, you have 10 children, mother of 10 children, doing all that, and suddenly you begin to get an awareness that you want to make a difference or do something. Mother so, of 10 children, a mother divorced. Raising a them all mother up on, on welfare. <laughs> and so how, what, what was the thing that the catalyst or what turned you to say, I'm going to do something and how did you start? I decided to become an active member of the church. Mm -hmm. And as I began to work in this church and study the scriptures, I found out I was either misunderstanding or sort of rebel. Mm -hmm. And I began, <laughs> I began to search the scriptures. Uh -huh. We just said, search them and in them you find life. And I began to search. The scripture tells me that I could do all things through mm -hmm. Christ who lives in me. Right. And then one scripture tells me, well, prove me and see if I won't do it. <laughs> so me you being, have to test the waters, right? Uh, yeah. So that's did, how I started. And how did you begin? What was your first My uh, first attempt mm -hmm. was to talk to my friends about it. And we were all ADC recipients. Mm -hmm. And um, I said to them, well, let's start a prayer band. Mm -hmm. uh, a group of ladies that we have prayer at each other's home. Mm -hmm. And um, I, as I began to get this into my head, our church was raising funds. The church that I attended was right. raising funds mm -hmm. to, for some kind of project. And I told them that I would help because I consider myself a good cook, you know. At uh -huh. time. Well, you better be with 10 kids. Yeah, you better. <laughs> so I uh, decided I was going to sell this barbecue for them on the weekend. Oh, I bet it was a good barbecue too. Yeah, boy. One of these times when you're in town, I'll do so. Oh, great. But let me tell you, as I stood there making this barbecue, and um, a gentleman came along by the name of Peyton Waddle. Oh. I'm a single lady. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm past 40. And you got 10 children. And I got 10 children. My baby was three years old. And uh, the gentleman said that he wanted to buy some of the barbecue if he didn't come back for us to give it to someone. He said, because I understand that you were raising money for your church. I said, yeah. And God allowed it to rain. It just poured down rain. And he offered to help us take our food inside the house because mm -hmm. we was out on the street. And needless to say, in maybe about five months or less, I was married to this man. 